Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey, Calvary, thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. We're continuing to look at a passage of the book of Colossians that unpacks some attributes of Jesus. And so if you've been tuning in the last few episodes, you are on track. If you'd like to go back, you can go back a few episodes and catch up. Uh, But we're going to jump into this. I'm going to read, again, the whole passage, and we're going to pick up in verse 18, talking about some of what this means for us. So uh, as Paul is talking and describing Jesus, he says this in verse 15. It says, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, where the thrones or dominions or rulers or authority, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Verse 18, what we're going to be discussing today, says this. It says, And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on heaven or on earth, making peace by the blood of the cross. He says he is the head of the body, the church. And and I want to unpack what that means a little bit, because by saying that he is the head, it means he is over everything. Just even biologically, the head is at the top of everything. Everything, if you're looking at org structure, flows from that, which I think bears two pretty significant implications for us. First is that every church who professes to be a church that exists to lead people to Jesus and to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ has authority to Jesus. And so uh, myself as a pastor, Calvary as a church, we're responsible to Jesus and the the direction and the the purpose that we're existing under his leadership. Now, it doesn't mean that we have a a monthly Zoom call that we get on a a call with Jesus and process how we're doing and and, and look at numbers and talk about strategy and all that, but it does mean that this isn't for us. This doesn't exist just to grow Calvary. This doesn't exist to make Calvary's name great. No, it all exists for Jesus. We exist to make Jesus' name great in the communities that we serve. We exist to proclaim the name of Jesus. And that should be true of every single church that exists uh, in a biblical fashion, at least now. There's some that maybe are a little outside of that camp that would claim different things. But but we're under his authority and leadership. But bigger than that, and I think where I want to camp most of our time here today, is the fact that you, if you profess Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you've said, I am a sinner in need of salvation and grace, and Jesus is the way to obtain that, and you've surrendered your life to him, Jesus is your authority then. In everything, if you follow the the, the chain of authority up, it all lands with Jesus if you are a follower of Christ. So let me ask you, are you living your life in light of that fact? Are you living in a way that reflects that Jesus is the ultimate authority in your life? Or other things in that place? Are you living in a way that that your spouse or a family member or boss or some other person has the ultimate authority and what they say or direct you to do bears more weight and significance than what Jesus says? Or maybe even more tempting, are you living in a way that your authority is seen as more significant than Jesus' authority. What you want to do, your priorities, your agendas, your desires are the thing that rules. And let me just say that the only way our life of faith, the only way our life in general finds a place of thriving and in health and living the way God has intended us to is when we decide to submit to the fact that Jesus is the ultimate authority in our life and everything we're going to do is to to bow down to Jesus as our authority. If you're willing to do that, I guarantee that every aspect of your life will improve if you start not only saying and thinking, but acting in a way that Jesus is the ultimate authority. Because as we see here, he is. It's just a matter of will we acknowledge it and live our life in light of that. I hope that you'll do that today, Calvary. We'll see you next time.